welcome to the channel. So today we're off onto our caravan trip to the New Forest. I think it's called New Forest Century Caravan Club, Caravan Place. So yeah, all ready to go. But we've just stopped off at our services on the M3, fleet services. Done the caravan last night, parked it up at my house yesterday. And um, bloody hell, it was a nightmare to get everything packed. I think I've apps, because we've obviously got me, the wife, the baby, father in law, and two dogs. So we couldn't really put much in the car, we couldn't put nothing in the car to be honest. So I'll show you the inside of my caravan. <laughs> you see so yeah that is absolutely rammed with everything we need because we're going there for four nights five days so hopefully nice weather's like good at the moment I used to stay in their services and I worked for a lorry firm. Good services this. Doggies, that's Betsy, Marley. So yeah, I think we left a bit early. Not allowed to get there until one. I'm gonna turn off about 10 to one. At the moment, we're making good time. So I think we're getting there an hour early. So we're gonna stop here, let the dogs go for a wee. Baby's running around in a lorry park. It's not really safe, but she needs to stretch her legs. So we're finally set up and at the moment I'm inside my awning. I only bought this um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought this, it's a Camper Rally air awning, 400. But it also came with an annex and it also come with the inflatable barrier that goes around the outside but I haven't put that up. And yeah, this is what it looks like inside. 
So that's the annex. And obviously, very spacious. I haven't got a big enough carpet, so I'll have to get one of them. And obviously, that's, I've made that into a door. And there's the final setup. Quite a big pitch. Car as well. They did say that if you wanted the uh, awning and then the car on the other side, you had to move the caravan in level with that post. But then your car will be in front of your awning. And I thought the awning would look a lot better in front of the grass because of the dogs. The chemical disposable unit over there. Quite a few people here. So getting here, we got here with plenty of time. Well, I, I gave myself uh, nine, ten, three hours. It was two hours away, but obviously M25, M3. Usually M2 motorways are absolutely gridlocked. And as it being Easter weekend, I know people were coming away, so maybe going there, it was actually all right. So yeah, we got here with an hour to waste. So we stopped off at Fleet Services. And then, um, I can't remember the name of the other services. Unless you're all showers, toilets. Nice sight so far. We didn't get here until quarter to actually 10, 10 to 1 so strict would not deal with us until bang on 1 o'clock even though it was absolutely empty so I suppose it is what it is some walkways through there I meant to be going to meet them at the park I don't know where the park is I think I've gone the wrong way other pitches. These ones are not fully serviced pitches. Another chemical waste. Yeah, I think I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I've gone the wrong way. Let me get back on track and I'll get back to you. So I think I'm back on track. Um, didn't mention the signal around here is absolutely terrible. Soon as I pulled on site, there was no signal whatsoever. <clears throat> you do, you can sign into free Wi-Fi, but it says you register, and then it only gives you an hour at one megabyte which yeah that ain't gonna last but um I'll, I'll go to reception and see if um they have any wi-fi packages they do food here the the guy turns up in a van so you got fish and chips mondays thursdays and saturdays and then you've got pizzas on Tuesdays and Fridays. So tonight is fish and chips. Lovely jubbly. This is reception. Very, very friendly. Very polite. <coughs> oh, there's a fish and chip van. There he goes. I might start queuing now. <laughs> no, um, you can rent bikes. Bike hire. That's actually a good idea. Don't know where I'm gonna put the two dogs on that. 
This is where you arrive. Yeah, see, that's late night arrivals. But yeah, you arrive here, you line up at the gate, and then you go into reception. They did give me a map, and they told me um, I'm on the red peg. So they pointed them out and said, basically, if it's available, take it. So I was like, okay, no worries. So yeah, picked our spot. Good morning. So this is day one complete. Uh, last night, it was, it was good, but it absolutely lashed down the rain pretty much all night. So today, it's dried up now, sun's out. But today we are going to Buckler's Hard Historical Riverside Village. Um, yeah, that's just that looks good. It's dog friendly. It's actually free as well to explore the village. Uh, they do food there, coffees and stuff like that. I'm just reading a flyer. Um, I think it's going to rain later, about two o'clock. So we're going to set off now. Well, we're just having breakfast and then we're setting off. But I think it's then raining for the raining for the rest of the week, which is an issue because I need to get my awning down, and I didn't want to pack it away in the rain, and I didn't want to pack it away wet. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, we're at Buckler's Hard Village. It does have parking. You do have to pay for parking. Um, I think to pay, to pay for parking, obviously you pay when you leave, but it's, the, it's, it's to keep the upkeep of the site so there's your parking prices they have um, pay machines and you can also scan a QR code so right now we're in a cafe in Bewley it's like a museum sort of place it's a nice sort of cafe get the, gonna get our coffees to get ready for our walk start off for the day dog friendly nice cakes carrot right, cake ice creams Say hello. Hello. Look at our stone floors. 
So some of the houses you can actually go inside. So Shipwright's Cottage. Oh, I love. No push chairs, fans. Look like they're making potpourri. Is that potpourri? I'm going to go upstairs. Steep steps. These are proper old times. <coughs> nice fireplace. house is all uneven. You probably roll straight out of that bed. Goes up higher but you're not allowed up there. Very nice place. Beautiful. <laughs> Into the church. It's nice. Sir Francis Chichester, KBE, Gypsy Moth. They that go down to the sea in ships and occupy their business in great waters, these men see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. So we're going to go on a boat. Yeah, where have you seen it? So you can take it off. Through, through 11 o'clock. You can't, I'll have them. And, and then this adult price is 7.50. Seniors, seven pounds. Children, 5.50. And a family ticket for 21 pound 50. And it takes you on the Bewley River Cruise. Enjoy a 30 minute cruise with onboard commentary. So I don't know if you enter it from here. We're obviously going to see, we don't know if they do take dogs. But we'll find out when he turns up. So I'd really yes or no, isn't it? Got a nice pub here. Right behind me. Really nice pub. They do barbecue food and stuff like that, burgers. I guarantee this place is heaving in the summer. Prices are a bit expensive, but I'm sure the food's nice. Captain.
Play some souls of uh, sleep. So now we're just heading into Beaulieu Town Centre for tea and cake. Fancy a nice Victoria sponge. Nice little village here. So we've just got back from our day. What a tiring day it's been. Lots of walking, lots of fun. We stopped off. I didn't get my Victoria sponge. I had to buy it from Tesco's in the end. But we did stop off and I had a chicken club sandwich from the, I can't remember the name of the place. But I'll put a picture of it up. And <clears throat> yeah, highly recommended in the town of uh, Bewley and there was a a walk round where you go to this like it looked like a castle but it wasn't obviously we couldn't get in there it's not buggy friendly and then yeah on the way back stopped off at Tesco's get some more bits it's not every day you come back to your car and you've got donkeys ro ro roaming around the car park again I'll stick a video of that up as well <laughs> but it's actually quite funny dogs were going mad didn't wake the baby up though she was still asleep so yeah now we're back at the caravan Bo's watching Pinocchio Hannah and her dad's gone out for a walk dog walk another one and I think I'm just going to put my feet up with a nice cup of tea so yeah later on I'm actually going to do a walk around of the of the caravan site it is a pretty big site but i'll show you like toilet showers dog washing facilities stuff like that and then tonight as well is the pizza van that turns up so i'll put that up as well fish and chips yesterday was nice loads of chips actually reasonably priced if you, if you ever come here i'd highly recommend it the only thing so far that is a downfall is the signal around here. I don't know whether that's because of my network, but their Wi-Fi that you can pay for here, they told me it's not working. So you buy a, you don't buy it, it's free for an hour. But every hour you have to keep signing back in. So you can't really complain because it's free. It's just annoying that you have to keep signing back in. But other than that, so far thumbs up so uh, again like i said uh i will keep you updated and later on tonight we'll show you i'll do your walk around good morning so right now we are on avon beach There's some nice little restaurants here and coffee shops bit windy today look at them waves good for a surfer but I'm not a surfer I'm a caravaner <laughs> you got the little occasion huts that you can actually hire. A lot of money, isn't it? July and August, 195 quid. What's that per day? It's nice. Dogs are loving the sea. Got little picnic areas, benches to sit on. You 
you see the water? Do you see the water? So I still haven't done a walk around of the caravan site yet because last night I think from about three, maybe four, five o'clock, it was absolutely lashing it down all the way through. At one stage, I thought my annex was going to blow off. But obviously, I've pegged it down. Um, there was a bit of water that got underneath, so we had a bit of a puddle by the annex inside the annex but it, it soon drained away um, so far the holiday has been good it's the weather that's let us down but you know it's one of those things when you're going away in England we had pizzas last night that was nice a little pizza hut that turns up at your um, caravan site. Uh, it's 10 inch pizza, I think it was. So the one I got was the barbecue chicken. That was really nice. That was 11 pounds. And Hannah got the pepperoni, which is 10 pounds. So the, the, the pizza are pretty much all 10 pounds, apart from when you go for like chicken or stuff that's a bit more better then it's 11 quid they do kid bite kid bites it's like a little margarita it's a smaller pizza and that was only a fiver and then um, yeah he even uh, lent us his umbrella because we needed to go into the shop I was hoping that when we got back to pick our pizzas up he said to me can I have my umbrella back? And then I turned around and said to him, I was hoping you weren't going to say that. <laughs> but if I see a shop today, I think I'm going to have to buy an umbrella. Because then I can do the walk round. Because if it starts raining tonight, apparently today's the only day that we've got dry weather. But then Thursday and Friday, it's meant to be raining all day. And that's what I'm dreading because we leave on Friday. And ideally, I didn't want to put the awning away while, while it's wet. And I didn't really want to pack up in the rain either. But it's one of those things. We can't put the awning away early because, the, because obviously you've got three adults, one child and two dogs. That ain't, that ain't feasible in the caravan. So, um, like I said, I'm really glad we have the awning. I think it's one of my best purchases so far. Well, apart from the caravan. Um, the annex, I was gonna sell separately because we have a windbreaker, an inflatable windbreaker, and I haven't put that up yet. So I bought the whole lot. And I was gonna sell the windbreaker and the annex but now I'm keeping the annex and I still need to check out on the windbreaker whether I'm going to keep that or not um, I took a picture of the caravan opposite us yeah that got flooded right out I'll stick a picture up of that but I'm glad I weren't that bad it weren't, glad it weren't that bad for us but again this morning, all drained away, so no harm. These are what holidays are all about, making memories. Hello! Marley the dog, 
he's going to be absolutely shivering later. He loves the water, but he don't like the cold. So we're all done at the beach. We're going to move on to the next beach. Some nice places here to eat. Got the terrace up there. That'd be nice in the summer. It's not that windy either, surprisingly. But yeah, I'm just going to get the car and then we go to the next one. So we've just got to High Cliffs Castle. We did go to another beach location, but it was way too windy. So we decided to come here instead. Looks really nice. It's starting to rain a little bit. But look at that. How lovely that is, eh? And this is dog friendly, but obviously your dog's got to be on the lead. And then you have all the garden bit that you can walk in, walk around. They have a little maze in the front there. We was going to put the baby in it and see if she could find her way out. But she'd probably just climb over the hedges. Little ice cream van. Pizzas, ice creams, and coffee. Oh, there's a beach that way. Marley! Maybe I should have got my boots. Oh, look at that. Buggy friendly and wheelchair friendly. Beach is dog friendly. That also might be a time of the year thing. So certain times of the year the dogs can go on the beach.
parcels open Thursdays. So we've decided to take, me and Bo decided to take a little tour into Highcliff Castle. It's nine pound entry per adult. Children under five are free and they give you a floor plan. So let's go. What's that? Wow.
pajamas. Kitchen. Cooking. Hot, hot. You don't seem impressed. They did this latest bit of renovation. Oh, did they? Yeah. It just shows you have to be careful what you're walking on. Yeah, yeah. Faces like Good afternoon. So today the weather is a lot, lot better. I was going to take you over to the shower blocks and the toilets, but they're in clean. They're, they're in the process of cleaning them at the moment. So it says that they need they clean them between two and half three, and there's a time earlier before. I think it's twelve and half one. No, it can't be that time. There's an earlier one, but they are really big shower blocks loads of showers and I know I say I've only I've, I know I've only stayed at two campsites but these showers are really good so so far these are the best ones um, once they're finished cleaning them I'll take you in there so right behind me you've got your motorhome service point your waste water and your drinking water and then you have your dog and bike wash. It's only a hose on a tap. But you can't complain. So last night, it was absolutely chucking it down in rain. At one stage I thought my annex was gonna disappear. <clears throat> then I couldn't sleep. So at 12 o'clock at night, I'm out there checking it. Because obviously where, the, where it was windy, it just kept on bashing it a bit. But it survived. We've, t uh, we've been out this morning to the beaches and the castle. And then when we got back, because it was still really, really sunny, I thought I'll let the annex dry out a bit. And I've managed to fold the annex up and put that all away. We've checked the weather for Thursday and Friday, and so far it's looking good. So fingers crossed, it stays like that. <clears throat> because I was dreading putting everything away in the rain. Because it's when you start rushing, and then you start missing things. And I just like everything to be precise. That way nothing goes wrong. Um, on this site, the only thing I'm, I won't say I'm disappointed, but I'm surprised that the amount of pitches it's got, there's only two shower blocks. 
and there's only two uh, chemical washes. So that I obviously picked a pitch that we're not too far from it. But yeah, you have one behind me and then one further over there. I'll show you on the map anyway. I'll get the map I'll pick get the picture of the map up. Um I think because of all the rain that we've had, the dog walking the designated dog walking trails are all shut because they're waterlogged. Uh, you've got just walking past a little park just a little kiddie park there's Hannah say hello Hannah hello Hannah <laughs> and there's Bo you've got a football pitch I think that grass needs a bit cutting but maybe they'll do that when it starts getting hotter and this is one of the yeah, the dog walking bit. Yeah, high levels of water. So, say hello, Bo. Um, the dog walking bit is closed because of high levels of water. Which is a shame because, again, this is the only bit that you would let your dog off the leash. And it's shut. So, a bit disappointing. There still seems to be people turning up. Loads of awnings out. Everyone's got awnings. I think I need to watch a video on setting up my awning. Because I don't know if I've set it up right. But, one step at a time. Hopefully these toilets are open. I'll have to check when no one's in there first. I don't want to walk in to a surprise. So let me check. Right, so no one's in here. Yeah, so you come in, you've got all the cubicles. It's not warm in here, but it's not cold. Your iron oars sinks a couple of hair dryers and then these are your showers so you've got a seating area where you can put your bag and actually sit down which I thought was really good you have your temperature gauge on the bottom and you have your on and off on the top it's not one of them push button ones and then you have a storage to store your shower gels and then you've got couple of hangers behind the doors and you got one there really really nice showers I love these showers I made the mistake and I went in this first one and me being six foot one I had to keep bending down but then you look at the other ones they're a lot higher so if you do come here and you are pretty tall don't do the don't go into the first shell cubicle you've got your test these are your private sinking areas and then you have your sockets for your shavers little shelves a couple of hangers on the door really nice I've not seen you know you get laundry area and dishwasher area so you have your family room. I think you need a code for that one. That's also where you do the baby changing rooms. And then you've got disabled and women's. Now let me take you over to the chemical wash. Ah, actually, 
of water um, I think he I think these are your premium pitches so big pitches but you have benches with umbrellas and a barbecue at the back but they only have four of these which again I'm surprised for how big the site is you've only got four so you to your chemical waste it's literally just a big slope sink in the middle it's all open so if it's raining oh well and then you've got your tap with your hose and then you have your recycling bins glass and water and waste waste water drinking water that's it so again for again the, again for the amount of pitches there are there's only two of these there's one here and there's one opposite our caravan so when you do come here and they give you your map and tell you where to well they don't tell you where to park they say pick just make sure you do your research make sure you plan out where everything is locally and try and pick the best spot convenient for yourselves yeah where you say, say hello, so hello. I've just um, went and inquired about the bikes and I thought I asked if they do baby seats on the back yeah they don't so I have to bring your own bike and get a doona so now we're just walking over to the laundry and dishwasher as I just spoke to a lady and she said they are at the back of the showers which again no, no signposts you'd think everything would be signposted up but it's not so you've got your dishwashing area just a couple of sinks five sinks and that's it and you're not allowed dogs in here except guide dogs and it's the same for the laundry no dogs except for guide dogs so how much is the laundry ah these take tokens this is actually on the information bit Again, for so many pitches, two washing machines and two tumble dryers. Surprising. Um, you buy your tokens from reception for the laundry and the tumble dryer. I think, I don't know what that says there, four pound for your washing machine. I can't remember how much it is for tumble dry good morning and we are finally back home van is at the storage yard we actually left a day early because of the the rain so we was meant to stay until Friday but we left on Thursday late afternoon because the window we had for rain was for no for no rain was between twelve and three. From three o'clock, it was raining all night, and then all into Friday up until one o'clock. So because you have to be off pitch by twelve, I really didn't fancy putting everything down in the in the rain. Plus, like I said, I didn't want to pack away the awning uh, wet because then just in case it gets mouldy. So we left about three o'clock yesterday, 
traffic cutting home weren't too bad. About 20 minute delays on the M25. Um, I had to park the caravan up outside my house. I left this morning about half seven. Dropped it off at the storage yard. And that was it, yeah, all done. So everyone's happy. Right, so would we go back to the caravan site that we'd just been? Probably not. Not because it was a bad site, it was actually a really nice site. And not because of the weather, because the weather's the weather, you can't help that. It, the only reason we won't go back there is because Marley and the horses. So Marley can't stand horses. Don't know why, he's never had any issues with horses, but for some reason, he just doesn't like horses. You, even if you drive past one, he starts going mad in the car. Um, so yeah, that, you could actually gain really, really nice walks out there, but the amount of wild horses, cows, donkeys all over the place, it wouldn't be feasible for us. So that is our only, that is the only reason why we wouldn't go back. Other than that, thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.